ever imagine. Look, up in the sky. What is that? Is it a three-wheel motorcycle? No, it's a helicopter. No, wait, it's a flying car. Actually, it's all three. It's the sleek and stylish PAL V1, an amazing car and gyroplane hybrid from Dutch company PAL V. On the road, the two-passenger PAL V performs like a sports car, accelerating from zero to 60 in just eight seconds, leaning into turns like a well-engineered motorcycle, and it's an off-the-chart driving experience. Switching to airplane is surprisingly easy. With just a few simple steps to deploy the tail and rotors, you're ready to take to the air. The engineers at PAL-V put safety first. In the unlikely event of an engine failure, the PAL-V1's gyroplane technology and auto rotors allow it to be steered to a safe landing. Truly a door-to-door -door means of transportation. The PAL-V1's design could be the best example of what's coming to a driveway near you. While many drivers have longed for a flying car, many pilots have wished for a light aircraft they could drive on the road. Well, American company Terrafugia has come to the rescue with the Transition, a street legal airplane made for pilots. The Transition is a two-seat, state-of-the-art vehicle with carbon fiber construction, glass avionics, and a host of innovative technologies. The mechanical wings fold or unfold automatically in just a few seconds, allowing it to fit easily into any garage or standard parking space. The fuel economy on the road is great, coming in at 35 miles per gallon, and the flight range is 400 miles with a 30-minute reserve. So it doesn't matter if you're driving or flying, the transition conveniently runs on premium unleaded gasoline, eliminating the expensive jet fuel and making an easy quick fill up at your local gas station, and it's ready to go. Pricing isn't yet available, but with a deposit, Terrafugia will put you in line for your own transition. All you have to do is learn how to fly. Places where there are no roads require a rugged off-road vehicle, but as Doc famously said in Back to the Future, we don't need roads. This is the Maverick LSA Flying Car from iTech and Florida-based company Beyond Roads. The Maverick LSA is an inexpensive but tough off-road vehicle with a motorized parachute wing. So when the terrain gets too tough for this off-road beast, well, it's not a problem. Just deploy the wing and start the propeller and sail right over it. If you can drive a car, you can fly the Maverick because its flight is controlled with a steering wheel. Even better, a pilot's license is not required. On the ground, the Maverick is a powerful, dirt-eating joyride. And in the air, its mellow side appears with a smooth, steady, yet maneuverable flight. The Maverick LSA runs about $94,000, with an increase in sales and production beyond roads hopes to make them more affordable for almost anyone. So, any takers? It's been said you should always leave the best for last, and we did. This is the Aeromobile 3.0, arguably one of the most spectacular looking flying cars to take through the air so far. The prototype was manufactured by Aeromobile SRO in Slovakia, and flight testing began in October of 2014. With its advanced engineering, spacecraft-like design, and futuristic interior avionics, the Aeromobile looks like a miniature space shuttle from secret government projects. Not only can the Aeromobile land at any airport in the world, but give it a few hundred meters of flat grass or paved surface, and you can land it there too. When its automatic wings retract, it becomes one of the most gorgeous street legal cars on the planet. Powered by regular automotive gasoline, its powerful Rotex 912 engine propels the Aeromobile 3.0 to air speeds in excess of 125 miles an hour and ground speeds of 100 miles an hour plus. Understandably, the production model will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, but there's no doubt in anyone's mind that flying cars are on the horizon and not too distant in the future. We'll be able to jump into our cars every morning and take to the skies, just like good old George Jetson.